Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here, and today I want to return back by making a new video about Yahoo Aviat. So I'm going back to check out Yahoo Aviat, and I start and I start to use the launcher on Android for the past week. Um, so right from the get go, there's some new stuff uh, that Yahoo added to its launcher on Android. So the first thing is. Um, now the big thing when you add an app to the main home screen um, Depending on which app it is it could do a kind of like a 3d touch feature So they kind of copied Apple w w with with its feature. So like right here on Twitter um, You can see that it can when I hold down on the icon it gives me the choices if I want to add a new tweet search or m add messages or other stuff too um, so this is really cool. Um, it's not with every app. It's just only some apps have uh, this feature. Um, so I don't know which other apps do have this uh, on the ones I have downloaded. Um, so every day I'm trying to like check which new app I have has this feature so I know. But yeah, it's really useful um, and it's really awesome because I don't have to like open the whole app and then search up what, what I want to do like on Twitter. Um, or when I'm using the camera app and I know I want to take a picture or maybe I just want to take a video I can hold down and choose the video instead of uh, taking a picture So it's really awesome and it's really useful um, So it's a really good update that Yahoo did uh, to its AVR launcher um, Next we have smart stream so smart stream is a uh, new it's like the same way as Google now just on with Yahoo's products mostly and with some uh, third-party products as well so like when you click and you, when you put your headphones onto mm -hmm. your phone um, you can uh, it will open the, the a music type widget on the, the stream so you can control your music and depending on which one you want so you could choose Spotify you could choose your music app you could choose YouTube you could choose the podcast player that you're using at that time so it's really awesome and it's really cool um, smart stream is pretty useful um, but I still like Google Now, of course, just because it has much more deeper information since it is an Android phone. And Google pretty much has a little bit more information uh, to show than what Yahoo does. Um, but anyway, it is a cool new update. Uh, I like the design that they're going with. Um, it's really simple, clean. Um, it's better than like two years ago when I, when I was using it. Um, so it is a really good looking update. Um, the one thing I just wish that they did add to this uh, um, option was on this launcher was the option to change search engine. So right now, of course, it has to be using Yahoo search engine because, well, they don't want you to uh, use their competitor, Google. Um, but if I had to choice, I'll switch it back to Google, of course. But it's not really a big thing. Um, it's just that small thing just for like those small users out there. But it is a really awesome uh um, the launcher and I liked it right now so I'm probably gonna stay with it for a, a couple of days or weeks um, and see how it goes with, with the uh, new launcher I'm trying out again um, so like I said it is a free download you can go download it right now in the Play Store um, the Hue Aviat launcher um, and it is a really cool launcher uh, on their take on how Android should be and work um, so if you're not a big Yahoo fan, then I don't recommend you guys go download this. Um, but if you are and you guys want to give them a shot, I do recommend you guys go give it a shot. And that's it for now, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.